Welcome to the grape buys that are the Christmas. Christmas gifts, the best grape buys of all, the ones that are free, the ones that are given to you. Yes, this is my essentially my Christmas haul video. And I did manage to get a bunch of stuff, a lot of it movie related, so it'll be here. I'm not showing you any candies or any clothing because nobody needs to see that. I did get some clothing, not a lot. Well, I will show you one piece of clothing because it is movie related, right? Why not? And uh, yeah, and candy, even though some of the candy was movie related, I'm not going to show that kind of stuff to you. I probably ate it already anyways, most likely. But first up, um, I'll just go with a bunch of stuff from, <laughs> this stuff's from Leslie. Um, she got me a Japan 2 Oz, Japan 2 Oz, is that what it's called? I don't know. But essentially it is a... I think they are an actual loot crate type thing, but what they do is they send you a box full of Japanese candies and such. Um, yeah, it says Jap Japan, Japan to Oz. Anyways, but yeah. So definitely look forward to future videos on these things, because yeah. That should be fun. Gonna be a lot of food videos coming up. Uh, next, the clothing item, which is a t shirt, and it is, um, you know, movie related. As you can see, there's some Yoda action that go on there, but it's all about the words. It is all about the words that crazy YouTube video, the seagulls video with the bad lip syncing. Um, I showed it to her and, and played it many, many, many times. So when she saw that, she obviously had to get it for me. Um, I asked for chopsticks on my list because my chopsticks are getting... I think I think somebody lost one of them. So I only have one chopstick. And so you can't really use chopsticks with only one half of them. But she found this and figured, you know what? This is what he needs. And that is the... Looks like a... Loot Crate exclusive, a Nightmare on Elm Street Freddy's Glove Chopsticks. Honestly, looking at these, I don't even know if they would work. <laughs> but I'm definitely willing to... Do I... I don't know. Do I get... Do I use them? That's... I don't know. Apparently, this is for people 17 years of age and older. I'm guessing that's what 17 plus means, even though they are chopsticks. And they are, like done up like the beginner chopsticks where they're attached together so you can you know learn how to use chops I don't I don't this is it is hilarious it is I, I mean it is uber hilarious because I asked for chopsticks and and I got chopsticks uh, <laughs> it was not exactly what I was expecting no no who, who would expect Freddy chopsticks no but I don't think anybody would right, right. so yeah so the question is, do I try and use them or do I keep them, you know, in their package? Uh, I don't know. It is, it is something to be, to be determined later. And another loot crate thing that she got me, because I don't, you know, I don't collect loot crates and I think they were having a sale or something like that. So she picked up a whole bunch of stuff. Is this Terminator Genesis half scale endo skull. It says half scale. I mean, if that's only half the size of it, I mean, his head would be very small. I don't know. Seems maybe like quarter size, maybe? I don't know. But that's kind of cool. Was not expecting that. She also got me this, which, <laughs> you know, since Lego lost their, you know, patent or their patent expired on their Lego bricks, everybody's producing Lego type things, including this set from. I have no idea. I couldn't even find a a company name on it. Oh, it says it's for Toys R Us. There's a sticker covering up Toys R Us. Um, so this is True Legends Construction. It is a little castle set type thing. Um, yeah, and I do see that there's a sticker on the bottom here covering up a Toys R Us logo. So I'm guessing this was made by somebody for... Toys R Us exclusively, and uh, yeah, I think I think I remember seeing them at 
Dollarama. I could be wrong, but I, that's probably where she got it. Now this next thing I technically bought first, and then she was like, hey, why didn't you tell me I would have bought it for you? Of course, why not? It's only $4. Um, so she paid me $4 to give it to me later. <laughs> um, and this, I think, normally sells for $50 to $60 in stores, retail. So I couldn't pass it up. And that's the Magic the Gathering Planeswalker game. Um, I don't know if it's any good, but it's heavy. It's got a lot of pieces, so it's definitely worth it. Uh, she also got me this. I don't know if you've seen this before. This is the um, Harry Potter Collection uh, Quidditch set. Um, and it essentially, if I make sure you pull it down. Did I lock it? I don't know what's going on. You pushed it. So you open it up, and it's got, there's the snitch up here, which is attached to it. Uh, and then this is got all the balls there right and uh, they are removable they're removable these ones are at least so it's a miniature version of it and now it does say it came with a poster I'm guessing the posters inside the box I'll have to look um, so this is kind of cool it's a little display piece I guess because it's it's not a full-size replica because a full-size replica would be the size of a chest right and shipping that would be kind of crazy back in there properly. I don't know. I think, I think I messed it up or something. Anyways, yeah, so she got me that, which is kind of cool. It's, uh, I don't usually collect miniature versions of things, but I mean, I, like I said, a, a full version of this would be huge. Where would you stick that? Heck, how would you ship it? I mean, shipping on that alone would be crazy. So, that is cool. Um, Considering the price I saw these things going for, I'm surprised that it's, like, this is just, it's like a sticker. It's just a sticker on the box. I would have expected a little bit more from them, but who's the company that put this out? Okay, so this says it's got, yeah, so it's $40 Canadian is what it retailed for. It says, Quidditch is the sport of choice in Harry Potter's wizarding world. This deluxe commemorative set includes two bludgers, one quaffle, golden snitch, not removable, 16 by 24 Quidditch poster, trunk, lock, and key. So I'm guessing the stuff is inside. That's the only thing that makes sense to me. Um, but it is a, an official... from running press so they licensed it it is an official release so you got that uh, let's see what else she got me this maple bacon hot chocolate yeah I, I you probably just had the same reaction that I did when I first opened it and looked at it um, yeah I'm not a big hot chocolate drinker in general and I do love maple and bacon together, but maple, bacon, and chocolate in a drink form, not so sure. But it's only here to fill up my Yoda one for me mug, <laughs> which is funny because she got me this one because, you know, obviously play on the words, Star Wars. Um, and a friend at work asked her, like, do you even know who Yoda is? And she goes, yeah, I know who Yoda is. He's the one from that Seagulls song she's like is that the only way you know who it is yeah basically Whew. yeah i got some educating to do for that girl that's for sure um next up a couple of things from my sister and my brother-in-law they got me now my brother-in-law is uh big into um uh you know reading uh thrillers and and stuff like that um, so he was definitely the one behind getting me Casino Royale, the James Bond book. This is from Vintage Classics. 
Wow, okay, so this is... This isn't even... This is from Ian Fleming. This is from... Wow. This is from the Ian Fleming website. Like, he didn't even go out to chapters. Or maybe he did. Maybe they carried it. But the only price tag on this is the British price tag on it. So, uh, yeah. I don't know. If, maybe somebody sent it to him and he just re-gifted it to me. I don't know. But I didn't realize that. I, I thought he just went out to chapters and figured I'm going to get him... Maybe the, maybe this one wasn't even in print anymore. Maybe they are in between printings. Who the heck knows? But, yeah. That's interesting. It's... You know, let's see if we can... Get it where the... It's not, like, whited out here. There. See? Just in the British pounds. So that's interesting. I didn't realize that when I opened it. So... And then from them, because I asked for this specifically, well, I asked for a bunch of things specifically, but they picked out one of them, and that is the Orc Met Gun from the Games Workshop Warhammer 40k line. Um, yeah, I, I always ask them for these things, because they're... Normally, they would get me a gift card. Sometimes they would get me the actual miniatures, but if I'm going to get them, I tend to ask them... Um, for it because they are most likely to get me something um, back to stuff from Leslie this is something I don't think I've ever seen before um, and I don't know that I've actually honestly my reading I collect a lot of books but I have read very few of them um, so it's no surprise that this collection of classic science fiction stories you know from H.G. Wells and Arthur Conan Doyle and all sorts of people here. I don't know that I've read any of them. But it looks like they are pretty quick reads. They look like they're like abbreviated versions, honestly. Either that or they're just short stories, maybe. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, Leslie wrote in it. I hope you haven't read these already. I think it's pretty safe to say I have not read any of them. In fact, I, I did look at them and I knew of several of the stories and several of the, you know, writers, but I did not have, as far as I know, I've never read any of them. Um, she also got me this, which is interesting. Now that I think about it, I think I may be, no, it's still here. It's here. Show it to you next. This is The Legion of Regrettable Supervillains featuring the 50 strangest supervillains in the history of comics. Loot Crate Edition. So this is another thing she got from the Loot Crate store. Um, and it's sort of like a little history book uh, going over some crazy villains that showed up um, over the years. Like, um, I don't know, Minuteman? Is that the bad guy or is that the good guy? Oh, I guess it's Mr. Skeleton is the bad guy? I don't know. Either way, they're both kind of weird. Um, and this one's, uh, The King of Crime, King Killer. Uh, but yeah, I love this kind of stuff because I love reading up on the history of these things. And, um, who's this one here? Fang, who is the enemy of Snowman. Yeah. The Adventures of Snowman. <laughs> Whatever. Um, next up, she got me, this is also from, uh, she got from the Loot Crate store, but this is not, I don't believe this is a Loot Crate exclusive. This was something that was released by Dark Horse, um, and this is the 30th anniversary hardcover, uh, trade release of Aliens, the original comic series. Um, this has all the Aliens, um, I think it's... I'm guessing it's the movie adaptation. Um, as a, I think it's a follow, it follows right after the movie. So I do know that they released, well, I think they did. I think they released an Aliens movie adaptation. And I believe this is the story that happens after the movie takes place. So this is the direct, 
possible story that happens after Aliens. Uh, next we should get into, I guess, the movies, right? First off, not a movie, but a television show, one we will both watch, and that is American Horror Story, Roanoke. Roanoke. Neither of us has seen this one yet, so I put this one on my list. Figuring, you know what, she may just pick this one up because she hasn't seen it yet. And she did, and lucked out there because I'm really looking forward to seeing this one. Um... Yeah, now that we are all on, you know, Netflix only, <laughs> we don't get to see a lot of the television shows out there short of, you know, whatever's on Netflix and whatever we buy. So, American Horror Story, only way we're generally going to see it is if we buy it. And so, this is one neither of us have seen yet. I think we're both caught up. And then, something that, um, you know, oddly enough, I do not already own except for on DVD I do not have the Blu-rays even though they've been out for a while um, and they were on sale Black Friday sale at Walmart um, not for a huge discount but for like I don't know, five to fifteen dollars off uh, the re regular price and then so she you know I pointed that out to her and you know when I wasn't looking she picked them up <laughs> and that's Star Wars Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, siete. I think that's six. I, I don't know. I could be making shit up. <laughs> um, but yes, looking forward to revisiting all of these on Blu ray. Um, uh, I normally, see, this is one of the things. During the Christmas break, I normally watch either uh, Band of Brothers or Lord of the Rings or Star Wars, or I do a combination of uh, Indiana Jones and some other series, maybe, you know, whatever, trilogy or quadrilogy or something like that, maybe the Aliens movies, um, but uh, yeah, uh, I picked Lord of the Rings this year, so next year I'm guessing it's going to be Star Wars, even though I have not picked up it's Rogue One because, well, I want it on 3D. And that's another story for another day. Um, but she also picked up something because I asked for it and I said, and I thought this collection for the price was pretty cool. And that is the Psycho 4 movie collection. Um, all four movies on Blu ray. Uh, it was hard to track down. It actually, I think it got released up here way later than it did in the States. Um, and I believe it was only at Best Buy. Um, but the main thing, and the reason why I love her so much, is she tracks down stuff. Um, because I mentioned them. And yeah. She's probably the only person who would ever get this for me. The movie that probably now that I watch it will probably make me go, Why was I so scared of it as a kid? But this is the movie that scared me the most growing up. It's a movie that hardly anybody knows of, and that's Shadow of the Hawk. This is only available from, um, I don't know, it's, it's one of those burn on demand thingies. Sony or, I don't know, whoever has it, but, um, yeah. It is a burn-on-demand release. You know, essentially, you can only get it from the crazies on demand, which is why nobody's heard of this movie. Um, since it's, I saw it on television, that's where I first saw it, and uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, if track it down, track it. You can get it. It's available. Like I said, it's on demand. You just it may even be available on streaming on demand if you don't want to buy it. But I do. I recommend buying it. It is natives. It is curses. It is spooky, and it scared the shit out of me when I was a kid. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to revisiting this with the entire family, and then having them laugh at me because it's not scary at all to them. <laughs> but that's not it no she also got me 
Some alien booze. Yes, this is Outer Space Vodka. Um, in the past, she had gotten me the Skull Vodka, uh, and this she saw. I've never, ever seen this before, um, and so I have no idea. It's apparently meteorite filtered. What? So they filtered this vodka through a meteorite? Whoa. But apparently it got the 2016 Best Tasting Vodka at the SIP Awards. I don't know what the SIP Awards are, but I'm sure they're important. In order to have an alien head vodka win. Either way, whether it's novelty, whether it tastes amazing, or, or what, this is just cool. This is, it's an alien head, man. Blah, blah, blah. So I was quite surprised to see that when I opened it up. Um, this is the second last one. Ugh. To go along with my chopsticks, she also picked up a NECA Nightmare on Elm Street 3 Freddy Krueger Kruger replica glove. Um... And when you look at it, it looks like gigantically huge, like, but, uh, yeah, when I put it on my hand, it wasn't as big as it seemed, um, oddly enough, like, my hand does not, it seems like it's sausage fingers, but I guess that's because it has to go over a hand and a glove, and then to the metal, but, yeah, I was, I, looking at it, I was just like, holy crap, that thing's huge, um, but, uh, yeah, now, it comes with a plastic, hand thing that says Nightmare on Elm Street 3 um, and I'm guessing that is the display stand because she read that it had a dis display stand with it um, not so much it's just a plastic hand so that it keeps its shape essentially um, so I will have to build something for this to display it because I mean this box as cool as the box is it really does not do it justice I mean it needs to be out it needs to be lit up properly with lights and such um, but yeah, that was cool. I was not expect. Well, I, I think I had it on my list, but I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna get for Christmas. I don't. I don't. I give a list of things that I'd be interested that I don't already have, and then it goes from there. <laughs> um, but this this is probably the cool coolest thing. Um, another prop replica. I do like prop replicas because. I can't afford the real props and replicas to me, to me are just as cool um, when they are exact reproductions of things. Um, so from the Noble Collection, um, a very important prop from the Harry Potter universe. We, she got me the Time Turner, which comes in this very, very nice wooden box. Um, with a mirror behind it so you can display it and all that kind of stuff. And we took it out and it is, it is very nice. It's gold plated. Um, so it is, if you really wanted to, you could wear it as a, you know, a real piece of jewelry. Um, I would suggest that this is not for kids unless they're just looking to display it. If they're looking, you know, if you're looking to buy them jewelry, this isn't really what it's for. This is a very expensive piece of um, prop replica uh, from the Noble Collection, which, um, does really, really bang up work, and, um, yeah, uh, this is, I, this is really, really cool, I'm looking for, I'm really looking forward to finishing the basement so I can have things on display, that's what I'm looking forward to, instead of just keeping them in the box until they're ready to, you know, come out and play, if you will, um, but yeah, so, some Harry Potter, some Nightmare on Elm Street, some Star Wars, um, a lot of movie-related items, which is so awesome. Um, yeah, uh, I mean, Leslie always does a fantastic job getting presents for people, um, and that may not be why I love her, but it doesn't hurt. <laughs> yes, she definitely spends way too much money on getting things um and as far as i know there are still a couple of presents that didn't make it in time which may or may not make it at all who knows um 
but such is life uh, when you're ordering on things online there's no guarantees right which is why you know those stores the stores that are out there the brick and mortar stores that's that shop at your brick and mortar stores people keep them in business so that you can actually get the items when they're there it's simple just do it um, you know going to amazon.com is not always your best bet of course these things aren't necessarily from Amazon.com. They're from all variety of websites. Some are only available online through these websites, um, or they were available in stores for a very short period of time, and then you know moving on to the next items. Uh, but yeah, yeah, I, thumbs up this year. Thumbs up this year. I mean, yes, I have been wanting this. For so long don't ask me why I've never purchased this purchased it for myself I don't know but leave it to Leslie to take that ball and run with it and get it for me yeah it can't it can't it, honestly they put that out many many years ago and um, yeah I'm only getting it now 2017 Christmas huh yeah. Well, it is what it is, right? What are you going to do about it? So, yeah. Let me know what you think about any of these. Hope you had a great Christmas yourself. Of course, by the time you see this video, it'll probably be Christmas 2018. But I'm, I'm not. I, I, I want to say I kid, but I, I don't kid. <sighs> yeah. Having problems. Won't get into it. It's not what this video is about. But, yes, I hope everybody had a wonderful Christmas, New Year, holiday, whatever you celebrate, um, time with family and friends. If you don't have any family and friends and you didn't celebrate anything, you know what? That's okay, too. That's why I'm here. You and I, we can have a little discussion down below. I can be your friend. Comment down below. Love to hear from you. Let me know what you thought of any of these. Let me know what you got. And, uh... Yeah, till next video, take care, have a good one.